Uh, let's go to Phil Wegman right now, Real Clear Politics White House reporter. Um, you know, I don't know where this goes at, at this point, Phil. I do know that people who seem to dismiss the possibility of the government shutting down are surprised when, in the end, the government shuts down, even in election year. Uh, what are the odds of that? Uh, I think it's certainly possible because, look, Republicans are going to say that this gives them something to go back to voters and campaign on. But I think that if you look a little closer behind the scenes, the strategic considerations here are very interesting. Remember the last time McCarthy tried to become Speaker? Who stopped him? It was the House Freedom Caucus. Why? Because they didn't think that he was sufficiently conservative. This time around, that uh, uh, that threat from his flank is no longer a consideration because he's he's joined arms with them. Meanwhile, though, uh, after McCarthy put out that tweet, we haven't heard anything uh, from Senate Minor Minority Leader McConnell about whether or not there should be a, a clean uh, CR or whether or not there should be uh, appropriations during the lame duck uh, period. And I think that's interesting because, you know, if you go to the, uh, the fiscal cliff, uh, you know, back in 2012, who was it who stepped in at the last moment uh, to broker a deal? It was then Minority Leader McConnell and then Vice President. Uh, Biden. I think that, you know, as the president often says, history has a habit of rhyming. I, I had forgotten that, Phil. You're quite right about that, though. Uh, you know, each side weighs the political calculations, to your point, and maybe Republicans feel, you know, this border issue is resonating right now. Uh, even those who might be criticizing, you know, Republican governors for all the buses and the planes that go to Martha's Vineyard, it's, it's putting it on the radar now for a lot of Americans. So they feel this is worth the fight, maybe for their base. But of course, that all blows up if we shut down the government, right? Because do we think that President Biden is going to give in to the considerations of, you know, the minority party in Congress or, or in the Senate? I think that the odds are very um, unlikely on that point. He would have to uh, make a major concession uh, before the election. So uh, there's obviously a lot of posturing here, but you're absolutely right. Uh, Republicans, they see what's going on on cable news. They see how the White House has had to respond uh, to DeSantis. They've, they've gone to uh, re Republicans to make the rebuttal, not the other way around. So, so clearly the GOP sees this as a uh, winning issue, and they think that maybe if they can brand a spending fight in the you know, border uh, security category, that, that maybe you know, voters reward them for it. Um, what's the latest on tracking how the midterms look now? Less than seven weeks to go. Phil, uh, this consensus, always dangerous, as you often remind me, is that they... They do take back the House, maybe not by the numbers that they had hoped some weeks back, uh, but the Senate, that, 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 that's, that's tough. Well, if we take a closer look at the generic ballot, what we see is that Democrats have sort of uh, closed the gap with Republicans. And the reason why is this, that this polling is being done uh, post Dobbs, after the Inflation Reduction Act has been passed into law, uh, as gas prices have come down a little bit. Uh, that has increased Biden's approval rating, and um, a rising tide uh, raises all ships, right? So I think that's why there's some parity there in the generic ballot. That said, um, if you look at some of the, the big swings, uh, you know, 2010 or 2014, uh, Republicans were trailing up until around Labor Day in the generic ballot, and then they made that up to take big gains. In 2018, though, when it was Democrats who had gains in the uh, Congress, they, they kept their momentum throughout uh, that period, throughout the summer and then up to Election Day. So the question now is, can, can Republicans, um, you know, can they find another gear? And maybe the, the border security argument is what pushes them to the next level. Yeah, and it's always in the last couple of weeks. I can distinctly remember showing my age here, Phil, in 1994, Republicans were expected to pick up maybe a couple of dozen seats. Uh, they picked up more than 50 um, in the final swing. So you never know, um, but, but we'll see. Thank you. Yeah, sir. Thank you. Well, I mean, I don't remember that election, but I'll yeah. take your word for it. <laughs> rub it in, rub it in, young man. All right, Phil Wegman uh, in Washington, D.C. on that. It, it, you'll have to take my word on that. It, it, it ended up being more of a landslide than, than polls were indicating.